Live right here on this Tuesday on the early line on Sports Grid. It's been a while since one of our favorite guests has been here on the early line, but Rob Friedman is back. On behalf of FanDuel, the Pitching Ninja joins us here on this Tuesday. A great pitching slate on this Tuesday in Major League Baseball. The three front runners to win a National League Cy Young Award on the mound. And of course, we look back on a relatively full Monday in MLB as well. Rob Friedman, we appreciate the time. Thank you for being here on this Tuesday morning. My pleasure. I'm fired up. We are very glad to have you here. Last week out in Arlington at the All-Star Game on the red carpet. Today on the early line. Oh, the things you can do in the span of only a week. Rob, yesterday on the bump in Cleveland, it was the American League Cy Young frontrunner in Tarek Skubal for the Detroit Tigers. The Tigers get a victory. They have won a ton of baseball games as of late. 12 of their last 16, and Skubal registers the win yesterday. Seven innings of work, only allowing a single earned run, but did give up 10 hits. Ben, but do not break yesterday for Skubal against the Guardians. What's the best thing about Tarek Skubal and his arsenal each and every start that he makes? I mean, dude is an absolute bulldog. His probably his best pitch, even though he can throw like 100, 101, is his changeup. His changeup is is disgusting. But it's really like, I man, I thought yesterday didn't have close to his best stuff. Face a lineup that had a great plan against him. Guy gave up 10 hits, which I think was a career high, and still got the win and only gave up one run like just outstanding stuff he's been tremendous this year take a look at you know fourth in the league with wins second in the league with era third in the league in strikeouts second in the league with walks and hits to innings pitch and also the favorite to win the cy young let me ask you this question pitching is so hard to come by and a young pitcher what i mean by that still in their 20s right in the middle of their prime he is made to available at the trade deadline, which baffles me from Detroit here. Do we think he's going to be on the move? And also, what's a good landing spot you feel for Tarek Skubal at this point? Well, I mean, I if I'm the Tigers, it's going to take a lot for me to give up yeah. Tarek Skubal. He's yeah. the, he is the best pitcher in the AL. He just flat out is. Um, and, you know, maybe the best pitcher in baseball. So for me, it's going to take a ton of prospects. And, you know, I'm looking at the Orioles. The Orioles have a ton of prospects. Mm. And if you add... Him and him and Corbin Burns, like, forget it. That might be Oof. the best team in baseball at that point. <laughs> right now, those are the two favorites to win the American yeah. League Cy Young, the only two guys with a three-digit price. Scooble, the favorite, at minus 135. The number might be even greater if there wasn't a fear he could be traded to an NL club. If you're in Detroit, get mad if they trade Scooble. They won 12 of their last 16. They're only a game below 500 at this moment. But, Rob, one of our bits on this show is every day Paul Skeens gets a start in Major League Baseball, we mark it down as historic. It is Skeens Day number 12 in the history of MLB. At home today in PNC Park, the Pirates and Skeens, a hefty favorite against the Cardinals. Rob, what is your expectation personally every time Paul Skeens gets a start? I love you setting it up that way because you never know what you're going to see when Paul Skeen starts. You're probably going to see something you've never seen before just because I don't think we've ever seen a talent like this before. Physically talented, mentally talented, command off the charts. Like, dude is an absolute stud. And I, have, if anything, I think he's underhyped. Like, you're looking at a generational pitcher, maybe a multi-generational pitcher. Filthy stuff, but big thing up... Like competitiveness and mental game is off the charts. Like love watching him get fired up. This is a guy you want to watch. Mm. Absolutely. It is so much fun to watch him pitch and also a legitimate chance maybe to be a Cy Young Award winner. Let's keep it in the National League with another guy that will be up for the Cy Young. It's Zach Wheeler. And in a you know franchise that assigned Bryce Harper as a free agent, one of the better free agents they ever had in the history of the franchise was picking up Zach Wheeler. He's been sensational. Before the All-Star break, did have a little bit of that back problem issue. They gave him ample time off. He's going to be on the mound today at Minnesota. Talk to us about Zach Wheeler. Do we expect anything to be different today? Or what are your expectations? for Zach Wheeler moving forward this season? You know, I have the highest expectations for Wheeler every time he starts. He's a consistent ace. Um, you're right. He did he did falter a little bit um, moving into the All-Star break. I'd like to see him bounce back. 
Um, to me, he's just he's just everyday Zach Wheeler. Doesn't show a ton of emotion. Just goes out there and pitches and pitches at an extremely high level. Always love watching that dude. So we're going in reverse order in a way. Paul Skeens plus 550 to win the NL Cy Young. Third best number. Zach Wheeler at plus 190. Second best price. The favorite right now, that's Chris Sale at plus 120. Rob, when Atlanta acquired Chris Sale this offseason, they probably hoped he could be a reliable middle-of-the-rotation starter, not the leader in all the bigs, with 13 wins this year in the NL Cy Young favorite. At home today, Atlanta and Sale, a hefty favorite against Cincinnati at minus 245. How did Chris Sale bounce back this year, and how has he pitched at this level? So he's physically been a little bit off the last few years. So he got physically back into shape. You saw some flashes of brilliance with him even last year, but he's just been more consistently healthy. The other thing is, and this has gone under the radar, the Braves actually changed his changeup to add some science to it as a seam shifted wake changeup versus what he was doing. It actually blew Chris Sale's mind. I talked to him at the all-star game. He was like, I don't know what they're trying to do, have me do, but he threw it this way and it worked and that's been a really good pitch for him like dude is absolutely deserves to be the Cy Young favorite absolutely electric you know Skeens has a second half like like he did the first half he's going to get in the running for it but it's Chris Sales to lose right now Chris Sale the pick from the pitching ninja Rob quickly here 40 seconds left in this segment tonight in Arlington the Chicago White Sox are playing only 27 wins worst record in MLB but Garrett Crochet is on the bump for the Sox how much interest do you think there is in Crochet elsewhere around MLB ahead of the trade deadline I mean if you're if your team isn't interested in him you guys don't know what you're doing like that (laughs) dude is absolutely a freaking ace he shoves and, you know, whoever ends up with him, and please get him out of out of Chicago. He's got to leave. He's got to go yeah. to a contender. That dude is a stud. Rob Freeman, the Pitching Ninja, we appreciate the time as always. Thank you for being here on the early line.